Hello, hello. <laughs> Good morning. It's okay. Valentine's Day. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, and we have so much to do today. Well, we have so much to do in these next couple of weeks because I'm due with my baby in literally three weeks. Today, I am going to be organizing all of her things. Finally, I washed her newborn clothes last night. I need to <laughs> put all of them away and show you guys the dresser that we got for her. And then hopefully her changing table gets here today too i ordered that a couple days ago but franco just had a little pre-breakfast snack which was a lara bar i freaking love these i got into these when i was in track in high school and i gave him a cup of milk and he finished them i came downstairs to this beautiful valentine's day surprise from jonathan of course so cute look at the little cow with the crown and flowers and my favorite chocolate forever for sure you can never go wrong and look guys i have all of baby girl's clothes hung to dry because i washed them all last night so i could start putting them away today i have been doing laundry like crazy yesterday i did all of jonathan and my laundry and i'm about to put it upstairs and then i started doing franco's laundry which is hung up too and then i started doing baby girl's laundry when did i start doing laundry for four people it's insane but I actually have a little present for Jonathan too for Valentine's. <gasps> Mira, le vamos a dar esto a papá. Sí? Se lo damos a papá. If you saw opening baby girl's presents, you would have seen that we got a lot of clothes from 3 to 12 months and not nearly enough newborn clothes. Franco, he didn't fit into his newborn clothes until he was about two and a half weeks old, I think. And then he stayed in them for probably two months. So we did use them a lot. But I did end up getting some newborn onesies for her as well. These are from Larkspur Baby Company. They are bamboo onesies, which are very stretchy. They end up fitting them for a very long time. But I ended up getting these on black friday for 11 dollars. so and then yesterday at target i got these onesies which are also newborn and these were three for 11 dollars. ended up getting two packs of these happy valentine happy valentine honey yeah almost i got your present too <gasps> me yeah. a present <gasps> oh my god I love it when you spoon me. I love it when you fork me. <laughs> what the? We That's fit together in every way. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Where'd you get this? This is perfect. It's funny, huh? <laughs> Got you some skincare. Okay. It's brightening eye cream, serum, and moisturizer. That's all you need. Thank you. Either. Especially with the baby on the way, some gum and some socks. Thank you, honey. Oh, and the stickers. Gosh, thank you, babe. Oh, ah, it's for me. Le feliz día de la muerta. Yo te lo pague. Feliz Dia de San Valentin! I'm gonna sit here with Franco because he's painting and I'm gonna try to do my lashes here. Also, do you guys wanna see my nails? Look at my Valentine's Day nails. I went shorter just in case I go into labor. Here is one I done. I went for a little bit of a doll eye look, which means that it's shorter on the outer corners and then right in the middle it's longer so it can give you more of like an open eye. Here's how my eyelashes turned out. They look pretty good. I'm about to drink my raspberry leaf tea. As soon as it turned 36 weeks, I started drinking it. Yesterday while we were at the store, we found this little set of plates. You guys watch my TikToks, you see that Franco likes to drink out of a taza with us, so I got him his own. My tea is ready to drink. I actually chug it because I don't like the taste of it, so let's chug our raspberry leaf tea. Muy bien. 
Muy bien. For today's breakfast, we have a huevito, chilaquiles, frijoles. Thanks to my mom. And I just made myself a coffee as well. It's time to get ready. I'm going on a little Valentine's girls date with Noemi. We're basically just gonna go get our toes done and I'm so excited to see her. I just did my everyday makeup routine. It is so simple because I have eyelash extensions and they just complete the look so fast. I'm gonna look for a cute little outfit and then we will be back. I'm ready. I actually put my hair up in a bun because this is like fifth day hair. The curls weren't doing much for me. A cute little outfit on and we're ready for the day. Okay, we have baby girl's clothes washed and dry and ready to be organized. But actually yesterday was my 37 week appointment and I actually had an ultrasound to check baby girl's position and she's head down and the nurse nerves that i'm starting to get are kind of crazy i think that the biggest reason i'm nervous is because of the huge change that going from one to two will be but also because i've never had anybody take my attention away from franco so the fact that i'm gonna have a baby girl that is going to be nursing 24 7 really makes me nervous and to think about it i know that my love is gonna multiply but i'm also gonna have some sad moments so with all that being said i'm glad that i have therapy to turn to in these life-changing moments today i want to share how therapy particularly through our sponsor BetterHelp, can be the support that we so desperately need. BetterHelp does make the process of starting therapy so easy and less intimidating. Whether you're starting a new job, going through a breakup, or like me, going through life-changing events, these transitions can stir up big emotions, and it is so normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or even lost. And that is where BetterHelp steps in. They offer a platform where you can find a licensed therapist tailored to your personal needs and preferences. You will have the flexibility to schedule your therapy sessions around your unpredictable and ever-changing schedule. The best part is that BetterHelp offers convenience, which means that you can have therapy sessions through phone calls, video chats, and even messaging. What stands out about BetterHelp is that they have the ability to match you with one from over 30,000 licensed therapists. And this is quick. It happens in 48 hours or less, which means that you don't wait long to get the support you need. And if you match with a therapist that you're not really vibing with, clicking with, you have the flexibility to just switch. So if you're going through a big life transition or you know someone who is, I really encourage you to visit betterhelp.com slash Blanca J. Clicking the link in my description box not only gives you access to a vast network of therapists, but it also offers you 10% off your first month of therapy. So please take advantage of this. It is so easy and it is so helpful, especially when you're going through life-changing transitions like I am. Before I leave on my little girl's date with Noemi, I did want to start organizing baby girl's things just because I already have them washed and dried. I ended up getting these baskets from Marshalls and I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit in the dresser let me see I haven't even showed you guys the dresser yet oh nice I basically got this little one for her accessories like bows and beanies and then I got these two for her little onesies I actually only got three because I was a little bit scared that they weren't gonna fit but since I think that they are I'm gonna go back and get more so then I can organize everything else but look at these little onesies oh my gosh these are the ones that I got at Target this was a baby shower gift it was one of the only newborn sizes so I'm glad that we were able to get these and I can go ahead and start organizing them in case she was to come tomorrow like I have diapers onesies and my boobies for the milkies, you know? So I'm thinking this might be something I take to the hospital too as her coming home outfit. I remember for Franco, I had my coming home outfit, Jonathan's coming home outfit, his coming home outfit. I had my bags packed, ready to go, probably around this time when I was 37 weeks. And tell me why I don't have that for her. I'm really riding on luck because I've heard that second time babies come faster and I'm not taking it very serious. I'm still drying three onesies and I have room for like three more. And I think that that'll be the perfect amount for her in her newborn stage. Although if she spits up a lot, then I'm, she's going to have quite a few outfit changes. But we have like three, yeah, three-ish outfits for her in her newborn phase which is so cute and then this could be her coming home outfit if she doesn't fit in newborn which franco didn't fit in his newborn outfits it took him a little while to fit in them but if she fits in this this one is a preemie so if she fits in it then maybe that could be her coming home outfit i'll for sure pack it i'm also going to start working on my hospital bag so i can have all of that packed if anything everyone was right like the hospital does basically give you everything you need so i'm not too nervous in that sense all of her newborn clothes 
we're ready to go i'll put this in the drawer now let me show you this my dad came over last week and he built our dresser so this is where her changing table is gonna go right here there's a bunch of more things that i need to sort out but it is identical to the one that we use now this has my clothes and franco's changing table on it because when we had guests over we obviously moved a bunch of franco's things into our room so that our guests could sleep in franco's room and that we didn't have to go in there Okay, here I'll put what we use more of. So her onesies and the little towels. And under, we'll put the rest of her clothes. Perfect. We're headed to Naomi's house, but something else that I'm doing to prepare for this baby is having a lot of me time. And in this case, I'm spending time with my best friend before baby girl comes because as soon as you become a mom to a newborn again your time and your sole purpose in this world is to be with them to nurture them to feed them and you don't have quite a lot of time by yourself or for yourself and in this case i have two children which is just so insane to me so anytime that i'm not with baby girl i'm gonna be with franco and that'll be at least for the first six months of her life before she starts getting a little bit more independent so definitely taking some time to myself the way i practice this every single day is like at night i watch a novella with my mom every single Single night for at least three hours and we've been doing that every single night which means that i go to sleep fairly late i go to sleep around 12 31 in the morning but i can function on those hours i go to sleep at one and by 7 7 30 franco's up and ready to get started with the day so i can function on those hours i am thriving on those hours girl and that is because i know that i'm having my me time my alone time at night when he goes down for bed with jonathan so that's how i practice it every day but today for example i'm going to get a pedicure with my queen and i'm just doing everything that i want and can right now because in three weeks girl my life is changing and i'm so nervous but so excited for it so we're gonna head over to noemi's i have a little valentine's present for her and miss penny girl my queens and we will see you guys when i get there made it to my queen's house let's go in i'm gonna give them their little present and i'm gonna see penny because there's no way i'm not gonna cuddle her for a little bit all right guys we made it with noemi say hello hello we are outside of the nail spot but we just stopped by the blue mug we cannot come to Greeley and not get the blue mug oh, this one doesn't sound as wait what is this you hadn't tried that one huh don't tell me you don't like it i sent you this yeah no good. you know what it tastes like champurrado iced wait why is it hot right now you know why i think it's because the oat milk because mm. the regular milk i don't think it tastes like this and it's hot still bro this tastes like iced champurrado mm -hmm. oh my god it does it's it's good mm-hmm Oh, this is really freaking good. Oh, mm. we got muffins too. I have got chocolate chip muffins. I'm, For the wipes. I'm in like a chocolate chip era right now. Really? Chocolate era. Everything what? Chocolate. Mm. Who are you? I don't know. You're a change woman. I'm a postpartum woman. I have more cravings now than <laughs> Dude, yeah, because you're breastfeeding. I didn't bring my pump. Mm. It's okay. Tadana, you're not much in this. Yeah. Oh my god. It's good as well. Wow. Yeah, good it's as freaking <laughs> balmy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we're ready to get our nails done. Mm, cheese me. Come see your nails. They're so fucking big. We got our pedicure done and now we are getting some late lunch, early dinner, and we came to a sushi spot. It looks so good. Got some tempura shrimp. Roll. She got a calamari roll with a spicy tuna roll. Let's try it out. Let's pretend you guys are at lunch with us. Mm. Wow. Don't lie to me. When you're not pregnant, do you get raw? Mm -mm. I've never actually tried Hello, guys. It is a day after Valentine's. And Jonathan and I are at Cherry Creek Mall because yesterday I realized that I am full term. I can give birth whenever and I don't have her car seat yet. So we are here because at Nordstrom is where they sell the Nuna. So we came to see if we're going to go with the Nuna or the Duna. So that's what we're here to do. We're going to try to aim to be here for like an hour only because we have a lot of things to do. But 
at least get that off the checklist, you know? First stop had to be the bathroom. I have to pee every two minutes now, which is very annoying, but we got it done. What this is, it's a baseless car seat. Mm -hmm. The latches go right into the back of your car seat, back of your seat. Mm -hmm. now, I have an injured wrist, and this is I get cocky about this. Go ahead and pick it up, it's 13.3 pounds. Okay. Is it light? Yeah, it's really light. The Duna is like, it's heavy like, for me. I'm serious, that's why yeah. I'm sharing, seriously. So we are looking at the Nuna travel system, but it's just the convenience of the Duna is like really hitting me right now. So this looks cute and all, but trying to get out of the car with a toddler and a newborn, I think it's gonna be harder. I might just go ahead and order the Duna in the pink color. Next stop of the day is Walmart. We are actually gonna come get some detergent for baby clothes so I can keep washing baby girls' things. And we'll see what else we need because I need some hangers as well. And we'll check and see. We made it home. Let me show you guys what I ended up getting at Walmart. Basically went to get some detergent for reference this is the detergent that i used to use and they actually ended up discontinuing it i was never able to find it at walmart again so i ended up trying this one and it smells really good and it's still hypoallergenic has fabric protection basically i tried this just to see if the scent wasn't too strong and it's not it's like literally perfect this was my absolute favorite but i was never able to find it again so that was a little bit sad i had to change it but we like it. I ended up getting Franco's little Easter outfit. So freaking cute. And then I ended up getting him some PJs. He is running out of pajamas. He's still wearing Christmas pajamas. So I was like, okay, I need to get him some new ones. So I got these two. And I ended up picking a baby girl up some little sleepers. I got this lemon one. This one that says little sister. And just a gray one. I had to get new toothbrush heads and I just restocked on some moisturizer and then I got some little newborn onesies that go under all of her clothes and that's pretty much it we just got Corny's little light but that was my little haul for Walmart now we're gonna do Franco's bedtime routine and I think tonight I'm also gonna end up ordering the Duna I found out that it is in stock the pink one so I'm just gonna place an order today and see how long it'll take to ship because we're cutting it close girl